Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo laptop in front of us and this one is a Lenovo Yoga 5G model and in this video what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you guys how to open it up, how to remove the battery or replace your battery for these models. This is a 14 inch laptop and to get it started you need few tools. Tool number one, you need a screwdriver set. I always use the iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. These are S2 classy steel, that means they are really tough in the screws, the screw bits, and they will last you much longer period of the time comparing to other brands. And from this tool set, we're gonna be using a Torque number five, and we're gonna be using a Phillips number zero. Also, if you want to get an opening tool, you can get the pro version of this one. I'll leave the link in the description. The pro version will provide you with uh, opening tools and many other pliers and all other tools. But if you don't want to spend extra money to get the pro version, at least get the screwdriver set. For the opening tools, you can use a guitar pick, a metallic one, which are really tough end and soft edges. It's pretty much the same thing that I include in the pro version, but except that there's no handle. And I like that the fact that they don't have a handle, it's easy to hold on your hand. Now, power off your laptop completely, flip it upside down, put a nice flat surface, and it start removing all the screws that is visible at the bottom cover. These are torque number five. Also, I only realized that only 1% of my viewers are subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate it and it would be a really great help if you guys could subscribe and click that like button. Uh, it really motivates me to make more videos, take requests and answer your comments and also help you guys out with your any problems that you might face. Right, once the bottom screws are removed, the, the screws are, they are all the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. You want to grab your guitar pick, and you want to stick it between the top and the bottom cover, just like that. Okay, next you just want to twist it, and you're going to see it opening up. Just go in the front, to the corner, and you're going to hear some clicks. Those are the clips are, that are getting loose. I forgot one is screw right over here. The way to the back corner. Don't worry, you're not gonna damage or anything. Just have to loosen up all those clips. You need the front and the side. There's a tiny line right at the back. Same thing. Once you finish with that, just grab the bottom cover and simply put it to one side. And the battery will be just right in front of you. This battery, the model on this one is right over here. It says model name L17C4PB0. That's the model number for the battery. All right, to remove the battery, you need to switch to a Phillips number zero. And we're going to be removing one, two, three, four screws. So go ahead and remove these four screws. If the screws are really tough, press really hard on them. Don't worry about it's not going to damage or break the screen. Once you remove the screws, simply grab the battery. Now you can pull it back and pull this cable back and the jack will get released. So that's your old battery. If your battery is like a really blown up so you might want to replace it there is one two three four cell batteries in here so you can see when you bend it you can see the four i believe like a tablet batteries they are connected and the controller is in the middle let's say you got the new battery in here all you have to do is before you put it in align the cable make sure the cable is aligned and then push it towards the motherboard and now you can put the screw holes, make sure they are nicely aligned. Grab the screws and place the screws on the battery. 
Once you finish that, just grab the bottom cover, bring it over, align it nicely, and start squeezing the corners first, this front corner and the back corners. And then you want to work yourself toward the back, mid, sides, push down really hard, front end, and that should be all. And the last thing is to switch back to your torque number five and place all the bottom screws. I always suggest doing the corners first and then they're doing the sides and the middle. That way the cover, if it needs to move a tiny bit fraction, you can easily move. I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to replace your battery. And if it did, please click that like button. And if you have any questions, only request, leave them in the comment area and I will try to answer them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in my next video.